Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're back working on my 1994 Subaru Sandbar Super Deluxe. Today, we're gonna be changing the manual transmission gear oil. Now, the transmission gear oil replacement for a Subaru Sandbar is a very rudimentary, simple maintenance uh, item to perform. You don't need much more than a 17 millimeter socket, a ratchet, a drain plug, some brake parts cleaner, a rag, and your new gear oil for this replacement. For this replacement, we're using Redline MTL. This is a GL4 gear oil, as opposed to most modern gear oils you'll get at your auto parts store being a GL5. Due to the synchronizers in this transmission, a GL4 gear oil is recommended over a GL5, which can cause some issues with the transmission. So let's go ahead and get into the repair. So as you see, we've already got the sandbar jacked up, supported on jack stands. Uh, the truck needs to be level or as level as possible when working on the front differential or the manual transmission. Getting the gear oil level right is pretty much dictated on the fact that the truck is level. You have a fill plug and a drain plug. Uh, you basically fill the transmission or front differential until the gear oil starts coming out of the fill plug when the truck is level and then you know you have it properly filled. So as you see, we've got it level up on the jack stands. Let's crawl underneath and go ahead and remove first our fill plug, then our drain plug. You always wanna remove the fill plug first because if you pull the drain plug and drain the transmission or the differential and then find that you can't get the fill plug out, you were kinda of sunk. Uh, you cannot refill the transmission or the differential and uh, you've gotta have it towed somewhere and have someone else repair it or you're gonna be stuck trying to figure out how to get that fill plug out. So always remove your fill plug before your drain plug, just to make sure you're not gonna have any issues. All right guys, sorry for the bad camera angle here. It's kinda compact and hard to get in here with the camera. So here is our drain plug for the transmission. And I'll point to the fill plug, which is right here. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera, uh, but I'll snap a picture and put it in. So we'll go ahead and remove that. All right, there's our fill plug out. Way over torqued, way over tightened. Destroyed my elbow on that one. Now that our fill plug is out, we can go ahead and remove our drain plug. Luckily, the drain plug was much looser. And here we see our drain plug. You got a normal amount of small, fine little buildup of metal shavings. I uh, would be concerned if it was some big chunks or something like that, but uh, this is just tiny little pieces. So we'll take some brake parts cleaner and a rag and clean the magnet off and install a new washer here, ceiling washer, and go ahead and reinstall that once our transmission fully drains. All right, now that we fully drained out, we can go ahead and reinstall our fully cleaned uh, drain plug with that new crush washer, new ceiling washer, and tighten it down. Be sure to clean up any spilled gear oil. Once that's done, we can simply start pouring our gear oil into the fill plug until it starts draining out. Uh, you can do this by attaching a hose to the top of the bottle and feeding it from the top through the engine cover. 
uh, engine access cover. You can use a pump to pump it in. You can also use a big fluid replacement syringe. Several different ways, just get the fluid in the transmission. All right guys, I'm gonna start using a fluid syringe to refill the transmission now. Sorry about the awkward camera angle. And there we go, we are full, so we can let that drain out a little bit till it stops dribbling and go ahead and reinstall the fill plug and torque it down with a new ceiling washer. All right, and that'll do it for this video on replacing manual transmission gear oil in a Subaru Sandbar KS4. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.